Hey guys, it's Hunter McDowell, your host here for VFX Bro, and I hope you guys just liked that mirror video that I did. Yes, it was only a few seconds long, but the tutorial will be extremely long, and I'm saying like 15 minutes worth of material we'll be covering in this tutorial. Yes, 15 minutes worth. Now, normally I will try to make my tutorials much shorter, but if it's a super detailed tutorial, then it will be a long tutorial. Now you may get bored or something like that, so there will be links in the description below for other fun tutorials that are short and good. Now, this is VFX Wednesday, so we'll be covering three tutorials. The first one, denoising photos. Second one, denoising videos. And the third one, which is the mirror tutorial. So I hope you guys like it, and give it a thumbs up, which means like comment down below if you want to see more tutorials and always make sure to subscribe to VFX Bros channel so that you can get more amazing VFX videos. Thanks guys and enjoy the tutorial. Okay so we are now in Adobe After Effects and before we get started on doing the mirror effect I just want to make sure that you guys know that um, there is another tutorial that I have similar to this effect which is called the invisible camera effect and that effect is basically taking the camera out of the mirror now the reason why is because you really don't want to film something where it shows the camera inside of a mirror or a reflection and it's actually very easy to do sometimes it will be time consuming if the person is walking past where the camera was so for example if my actor or <laughs> me walked past here I'd have to do lots of mask stuff like that it's very very simple to do and the further the camera away is like that then the more you can sell it and you don't have to do as much editing but that is not the tutorial we'll be doing today the tutorial we'll be doing today again is the ripple mirror effect and if you want to check out the invisible camera effect you can check that out in the description below if you want to learn how to denoise footage or photos you can also check that out in the description below as you see here it's denoised in this you see the difference. And of course, it's just, you never want it to be blurred, but that's right. Alright, so first of all, let's go into our project and find our raw footage here. What I'm going to do is type in tutorial comp. Okay. And basically, what I'm going to do here is press Command D, type in VG as this one, go into layer, time, or do this, right click time at freeze frame bring this down let's change the layer color okay so I'm going to change it to a peach color then what we're going to do is type in normal we're going to change this to um, maybe a dark green and the reason why I like to change my layer colors is so that you can find them easier and because sometimes if you have them all the same color you will end up working on something on the wrong layer anyways so we want to find the part where you touch the mirror and his arm moves away. So once his arm is moved away, then all we have to do is press Option left bracket. Okay. Oh, sorry, not that. Press Command Shift D. Type in this mirror, and then you want to scrub through, and you want to um, stop it. You want to split it again right before his arm gets back inside the mirror. So press Command Shift D again. So this part will be the ripple effect. And so we'll deal with this. And then basically, we do here is as he moves his arm up like that. So as he's about to touch it, then we press Command Shift D again. And what we'll do for this layer is go about here until he is done with the ripple. So this layer and this layer are going to be um, you know our ripple effect so we're going to change that to like a yellow type color okay so that we can distinguish them and we'll type in ripple 1 and ripple 2 so for starters let's get into the ripple 1 
Okay. So what we want to do is actually go to un unclick all of these, and what we want to do is right click new adjustment layer. Adjustment layer is above this, and basically what we want to do is make sure it starts at here. So press option on the adjustment layer, press option left bracket, okay? <clears throat> and then what you want to do is press command shift D and take this, just delete that other stuff because we don't need it, okay? So then what we want to do, whoops, okay. We were supposed to stop it here, so press command shift D again turn this one off because we'll be using that one layer okay then go to this adjustment layer and go into effects and presets and type in ripple so go to store and click on ripple and of course it's going to be affecting the whole thing if you bring it up you see here it affects the whole thing we don't want that so what we want to do actually is make a mask around the uh, mirror so let's just say we want to make a regular square mask now, of course, the mirror is where the camera is. The mirror's like that, so you don't actually want to make a square mask. You want to make, you want to mask path it yourself. So try to mask around the mirror as best as possible. I right, try to make like four points, something like that. Even if you have to zoom in and figure this all out and stuff like that. And basically, what we will do is we will start the ripple after he's done touching it so for example he touches it he moves his hand away let's maybe bring it out just a little bit here so as he touches it then we'll start the ripple effect so basically go to here keyframe the radius so, as it starts here, he presses on the mirror. So let's actually make it go back here. Hit U on the keyboard. Go here. As he moves his hand away, then we'll make the ripple go up maybe around 31. You can make it go up more, but we're going to be editing the wave speed, wave width, wave height, and the whole phase. Plus, maybe make it at 40. So you see here, his hand is distorted so really easily. We just do that. Hit zero. Oh, boom. And as he moves his hand away, it's actually not that bad. So if we hit play real quick, boom, then his hand is automatically moved and it's least likely to be stored, and especially when it's this far out, you won't see it as much. But this is what we actually want to do, okay? So we want to edit the wave speed, so keep it at 1, make it go here, and of course we want to make the ripple effect last longer, so here. And so basically what we want to do is hit U on the keyboard, make this ripple effect go here, edit, and then what we want to do is go back to here, wave width, we want to keyframe that too, and bring maybe the wave width up, this is how many ripples you want, so don't do that much, it looks very fake, maybe this much, and turn up the ripple phase to about for between 30 to 40 so 40 now you don't want to keyframe the ripple phase I don't recommend that and so this is what we have so far now of course it ends like that and it looks very very harsh and of course it's not fast at all so why is that well, the reason is, is because the wave speed is very, very low. So you want to actually edit the wave speed and make it go all the way to the max. So if we then if we have it all the way at max, then you see this. But we want it to end around here so that it can fade out. So hit you on the keyboard. Make sure all your keyframes are here. Move it directly to here. Okay. 
and then you want to go to the end. So you want to leave a few seconds off, and then basically what you want to do, hit 0, 0, 0, 0, zero and keep it at 40 because it won't change. And then you have a fade in and fade out. Actually undo the wave width so that the ripple. But sometimes that doesn't sometimes that will make a freeze frame in which we don't want that to happen. So if that actually does happen, very easy to fix. Basically what you do is just hit T on the keyboard, hit the opacity effect, go all the way to the end, hit is zero. And then you hit play, and you see this. So it just fades out like that. And of course, you know, we should bring the... If the wave speed was up a lot more, then we do that. But this is just a tutorial, so we... Because we still have a long ways to go, so... Not going to get into that right now. So, basically, we go all the way to our second one. Press Option, left bracket, so it stops here. And of course, we already have this. Now, this is what this is when it starts to get very, very tedious. What you do is go on your footage layer. So this one. No, sorry. Um, yes, you well, this is what happens. Okay, now go on your footage layer, duplicate it by pressing command D, type in mask hand and let's just do mask hand and face because any part of the actor that is in front of the mirror you want to be masked out because if you don't have it maxed out then you'll run into this problem where his whole hand is distorted of course first of all we want to hit M on the keyboard edit the mask by copying it go to edit and paste. But you see here that of course the mask is only affecting the mirror, but whatever is touching the mirror is affecting that. And we don't want that, right? So very, very easy step here. First of all, unhide that because we don't want that to happen. I mean, affect it right now. Change the mask hand and face to maybe a blue color so we can edit it better. And you don't have to make a very, very detailed mask, just a uh, maybe a little bit detailed outline of the arm. So the arm is the arm and half some of the face is affecting it. So make sure the mask is outside of here. And you will have to mask path. So I'm gonna gain ready to speed this up so that I can mask path my person. But you see here that I am editing the face and stuff like that. Because part of his eye, nose and mouth and a little bit of the hair is inside. So I'm going to real quick um, mask path the arm and face out, and then we'll get right back. Okay, so we're back, and basically I did a very, very detailed mask path around the face and head, so that it's affecting that. If you have F on the keyboard, just feather it out two by two, so not as much feather. Now if you hit fit, actually let's go and zoom in to about um, 200% so we can see how it will affect it. So basically the mask hand and face will still be affected but the way you want to do this is actually drag and drop it above the adjustment layer so the adjustment layer isn't affecting it. So you see here if the mask hand is under here it will affect it. It's above, it won't. Okay. So then if you, I always suggest you scroll forward. Now mask pathing the head isn't as bad but if you, that the reason why I had for the arm all the way out here is because if you have it here then the arm will be cut off and we don't want that but then if you the further the camera away is then the effect will sell and stuff like that and you won't really see a big problem with that and of course the keyframes you know are like that so he taps it like this and of course we can maybe go to the actual ripple effect and turn up the speed maybe to like 10 since he's tapping it like that 
and of course right as he's getting ready to end it, hit not this, hit T on the keyboard, bring the opacity out. You can do this where the opacity is out like that. Or what you can do is go to here, hit M M on the keyboard, go to mass expansion, go all the way to here and hit all the way until it goes out, okay. Maybe bring the adjustment layer just a bit out. But, I mean, the opacity effect works a lot better. But anyways, I hope you guys liked that tutorial. Um, and if you have any questions about this tutorial, if it wasn't explained well enough, please comment down below. Also, give this video a like. Subscribe to my channel for more videos and um, more tutorials will be coming out soon. And also starting in February, I will be doing something new, which is teaching you guys how to um, cheat ways to film using a, like skateboard as a dolly type thing, you know. Something, ways to help your, improve your filming basically. And tips and tricks for other stuff like that. But, again, hope you guys like this. Turn up the opacity to 100, make sure it is. But yeah, I hope you guys like this tutorial. Hit the zero on the keyboard. But yeah, I hope you guys like this tutorial. And please rate, comment, and subscribe. Goodbye, guys.